Hello guys. How's YouTube this morning? Well, it's Wednesday morning and I must say I did have a better night's sleep. So I think it's because the wind wasn't blowing. There was a little bit of creaking and the odd little bump, but it was a lot better so I got a good night's sleep last night. <laughs> so I do feel a lot better. Well, you might be asking yourself what we're going to do today. Well, we're looking at going to Caister on the Sea. Um, I think I pronounced it right. It's just up from Great Yarmouth. Uh, it's about 25 minutes away. But it's raining. I thought we'd done well. It's raining, look. Probably raining where you are Wednesday morning now. It's 7 o'clock. But if you have a look, it rains the same, look. It's only drizzling here though, it's not it's not chugging it down. So um we'll just see what's gonna happen today. So it's gonna be a leisurely day. I'm not talking whether want Ken wants some fish and chips, because he likes his fish and chips, so we're looking for that. Um probably look at a bit of sea. Can't really walk far because he can't walk much. So um it's just a leisurely day today, but we're out in the van. We're going in the van. You'll be seeing Lily later, so he'll be out and about and doing his normal duties of looking after us and taking us around. So uh, I'm going to have my ready break again, and a cup of tea, and if any wildlife turns up this morning, I'll catch them as I did yesterday, but at the moment nothing's turned up. I think it's because I'm a little bit later today. It was uh, half past six the other morning, it's gone seven now, so I'll let you know. So. See you in a bit. Bye. I was just talking about wildlife turning up. <laughs> He's just turned up, my little mate. So it's time to give him some bread because he's come for breakfast. Getting used to this in the morning, you know, it's really funny. Here you are then. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you don't get this in Nottingham. Well, you might do in some part, but I'm not used to it. Well then, finish your breakfast. Mm. I'm not going to hurt you, because you're such a cutie. Here you go, finish your breakfast, cool. You eat it as much as you can. <laughs> oh dear. You are hungry this morning, aren't you? Now I've got a crust and you're not very good on crusts, are you? No, because you do a little bit tough for you. Yes, he's come down. <laughs> I don't know how to call this David Bellamy or um, Spring Watch. <laughs> you might say, oh, this is boring. I'm fast forwarding this. But come on, guys. When do you see it outside? And a dove comes down to within arm's reach of its own free will. And then you hand feed it. I've not known that at home. You can't get within 30 feet of them. Probably 50 feet. People get sparrows and robins and stuff. Guys, if you see this, post a comment saying if this happens at your house, whether you can sit outside and you have wildlife come and see you in the morning. Please, I'm really interested. And put some pictures up if you've got any, or leave a comment. Or if you've got a YouTube channel, link us to it. 
in the in the comments and I'll look it in because but everyone's interested. It's so nice. Come on then. Chunky boy. We're gonna have to name you. Here goes had enough. <laughs> He's gone. Typical bird, uses you, text when he wants and goes. I'm not going to start a dilemma saying whether it's male or female. I'm not going there. Come on then. The ducks are coming in now. There they go, bless them. They're going on to the river. Our neighbours. Have a safe journey, guys. <laughs> morning, Good you morning. two. Oh, Good it's morning. The sun's not shining today, it's miserable. Oh, yeah. But it's a wet day, so we're taking um, Ken, Grumpy Grumpy, to Eccles on the sea. Just going to have a little little walk about and well not a little walk just a little drive really but it's too cold so you warm in here now yes yes he's warm got the heat in 21 degrees so um little road trip and then um just see what happens Fish and chips. Just ordered some nice fish and chips and cod on the bridge. Just going to sit in the car park. Eat in the car park. And it's raining. Lovely weather, isn't it? Right, guys, fish and chips in the van. Cup of tea. You got your fish and chips, mate? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> he wanted Isn't his it? fish and chips. <laughs> Jam sandwich. And I've just got fish bites <laughs> with <laughs> chips and peas. Mate, what's up, mate? What was you saying? <laughs> Grumpy Gramps is here. Grumpy Gramps is here. Taking the pain back because it is raining. Although these two got the fish and chips, me a sandwich. But never mind, it was something. Because they didn't do any gluten free, which nobody does gluten free. So. But anyway. So, but we've been into Latham's oh, and we've got some gluten free. I've got some biscuits. cookies. Yeah. Some cookies. So. so we're gonna have some with a cup of tea in a bit. Mm, I might try one. Oh, you will try one. Do you, you fancy want one? one of my cookies? Or do you fancy your vanilla no. custard slice? Mm. Yes, you've got your vanilla custard oh, slice. You've <laughs> got. I've got him a vanilla custard <laughs> slice. Yeah, very, very, yeah. And he wants to have it after his tea. Very corporation swirlbin. There he is. You're the corporation swirlbin. I'm the cook. <laughs> That's nice. Why does he use Sonny Lawrence? See, it? grumpy grumps. This is what I say to you. You don't see this side. I'm letting you see it. He's not always nice, you know. <laughs> He's adorable. Mm. Are you, Captain? No way. Right, see you later. Say, so see you, grumps. All right. Bye. Ta da. <laughs> Sleep, 
could visit his dark cube to him. Then you walk down the main road and say no, it's in the dark. You won't see a car. Is this on the way from school? You won't see a bloody soul. Is this on the way from school? Yeah, when you come out. When we went to Hamilton school and uh, down there in the morning, you went to school in the morning in the dark, probably was it getting light and you see nobody and it's, it's just the same when you come back at night. So Grandma, I'm not worried about you then. No, yeah, we created that that was the trend of the day up at the time. No bugger about it. Didn't bother. You'd get run over now, wouldn't you? Or kidnapped. You'd ask whether you come across and to the farmyard, across the bloody fields, how to go and take a shortcut. That's when you found that bomb, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Now the book was buried under about 100 foot of water. Probably more. When was the time when you found the bomb? When you went to school? Yeah, I just see it hanging in the bloody tree, a bloody great pipe, but on a fit on a parachute. And you went to school and told the teacher? Yeah, the teacher knew all about how to play then, there was. The bloody watch that was ringing up about it and all told. <laughs> we did, I didn't know it was a bloody landmine. Well, you were only a little boy. YouTube. It's a beautiful morning this this morning. Oh wow, the sun's out. It's going to be a gorgeous day. I tell you what, the best place to be when this where the sun is out like this is in the Norfolk Broads. It's amazing the difference the sun can make. It's half past six, which I always get up now. Thank you, work. All them years of me getting up. So um, it's our last day. It's Thursday. We go home tomorrow morning. We've got to be out by ten. So uh, don't know what we're doing today. But I know one thing: we're out in the van again. Love being out in the van. So uh, the sun's out. It'll be really nice hopefully today. So I'm hoping to find some nice park ups and enjoy the broads. Spot a lunch. Um, we wore Ken out yesterday, so he was absolutely zonked. So uh, we can't really go far now. We're at 90, 94 this year. So uh, he's doing really well. But, uh, you know, age creeps up on all of us, doesn't it? So uh, hopefully he'll be around a bit longer. But he has got some issues. So Anyway. I'll catch you later. I'm just going to have my ready break. I've got the bread ready for the crew that arrives because I'll guarantee they'll arrive. The ducks, the swan, the doves. Um, they'll all turn up. They might even get the heron. So uh, I'm just going to enjoy this last morning. Well, I've got tomorrow morning, but I'm going to enjoy this morning and see what turns up. So I'll see you in a bit. visit the Norwich Air Museum guys. The sun's got its, its hat on today. It's looking lovely. So. In 150 yards, turn left to stay on Ferry Cop Lane. Rock a belly rock. 
Go on, Gramps, go for it. <laughs> Sing for it. <sighs> Tea time. Yeah. Tea time. Did you join your sandwich, bud? Yeah. Even this bloody camera. <coughs> it's always attached to the mouth. <laughs> it's called vlogging. I'm second to the camera, Dad. I think. It's called vlogging, mate. Thank you, darling. You're very welcome. I never know why you're doing it. I know I don't mind.
<laughs> right, just leaving. Let's drop to the car, get some milk and some bits, and head back to the van and relax. Mr. Kenneth, back to the grumpy bum Jackson, is um, feeling a bit tired. He's had enough. Go back to the house bit. Go back to the north east the on Old Norwich Road towards your destination is on the left. Roxham guys over the famous bridge that we came down to on the boat and didn't go under we came to park but we couldn't park you can remember there mm. <coughs> yeah, that one and then on the other side looking that way this is Roxham town centre it's quite busy today you can sit out down by the river have an ice cream and I'll show you how you to drink, eat, cafes are all open. It was outside you already went, didn't you? This one's short. Yeah, we went to Potter Hyam. Oh no, beg your pardon, I'm getting confused. It was Potter Hyam. It was Potter Hyam. Okay. I'm getting confused. <laughs> Is that confused.com? Possibly. So all the little shoppies are open now? Yeah, most of it's Roy's, isn't it? Roy's Food Hall, it's a lovely shopping complex in there that is. Mm. We've got a McDonald's in it. We've got Ronnie McDonald in Roy's. We've got a big shopping here, Roy's again. Look, Roy's owns this whole area. It's a bit like Mark Spencer's come Wilco's, come the range. Me <laughs> too. Right, going back through the village. Through the village. Processing the videos, putting it all together with the music and editing, ready for upload for you guys to see it. Got about a couple of hours of work to do it. It should be good. I hope we've got here some caravans. They've kind of sold it lots so one of the old um, Goose Fair site caravans. guys we're back at the van this is the last evening now we're off in the morning and this is the uh, the floating houseboat it is completely floating concrete floating thingies you can actually pull it in a lot it actually moves so just reading a book and sitting outside and we've got fat bum here. Yeah. Chunky bum. Got chunky bum sitting here. So even he's come to say to say bye. Because we've been feeding him. Alright, this is tea tonight. Potatoes, sausage and peas and carrots. Yeah. Cooked by lovely Kim Duracell. Thank you, darling. And it's Ken's favourite. You like that, don't you, Ken? Mmm. Mm. This is the last evening now. We've got Mr. Heron come down, look. He keeps coming down. He keeps coming to see us. Thinks you're gonna feed him. So, the cheeky young one. Anyway, it's a beautiful evening, it's Thursday. Um, just gonna finish off the night now down. The sun's come out down on the, um, the houseboat. Kim's just gone for a walk, Ken's asleep. Um, and I'm just uh, enjoying a nice evening. Be enjoying the sunshine finish off the movies um, and we're going to get up in the morning get packed up bit of breakfast obviously all the wildlife will come and see us you'll probably see it again 
and then uh, we'll do a close out there and then uh, obviously we'll travel home but I won't show you that because it's just boring so this is a beautiful place now now the sun shines there is other nice beautiful places don't get me wrong you know Wales Cornwall Scotland um, but when the sun shines at the Norfolk Broads it's just so much better really really nice uh, there's lots to do on the boats houseboats walks um, it's not a bad unit you know so I said we did it from Monday to Friday Kim's just been for a walk where she comes now look just come in now look she's just there so been for a, a walk she wanted a bit of, a bit of time to herself so she goes off nice, nice day out got wet but um, just lovely evening now it's really nice lovely temperature, a little slight breeze, oh, it's amazing when the sun shines. Hey, old Jura, so where you been? Coming all the way down to the boat a higher place, well, you went down there, across did you? the tide of the river. Mm, okay. I told you she needed a bit of me time so she went off for it, <laughs> putting up with us too. <laughs> Mr Heron here. We're going to have a quick tea. I keep saying Mr Heron's here. So. Anyway guys, I'll speak to you in the morning because we're just going to have a lazy night. Oh, okay. Just going to have a lazy night tonight. Um, and I'll see you at uh, the dawn chorus about 6.30 with the wildlife. Alright guys, bye. This is the last day, so uh, it's Friday morning, and uh, just got up. Everyone's in bed. <coughs> I've done my normal routine, so I've got used to it now. It's nice. Just waiting for my mates to turn up for ducks, or swans, wood pigeons, um, and then uh, we'll have a chat with you later when everybody's up before we go, and we'll uh, end the video there. But uh, look out for it, because it's going to be an exclusive with Grumpy Gramps, Duracell and myself. So, um, we'll see you in a bit. I'm just going to enjoy the morning. Goodbye. I wonder where you were. Come on then. <clears throat> Quick breakfast time, shall we? Roll it up for you, so so you can eat it, so you can swallow it. Mm -hmm. Nearly there. Nearly gone. Everyone's up. Grumpy's having breakfast. Morning, Gramps. Morning. <laughs> So the herons turned up this morning with the swan. <laughs> I think we got the message. Yeah. Oh, 
Sure you're in the doghouse, you are. This is the last day, guys. We're going home. It's been quite eventful. I've just got speared by a heron. <laughs> I missed it. Sorry, and they guys. are razor sharp. Let me tell you, if you've not experienced it, <laughs> last time I feed one of them, let's put it that way. I thought he was cute, but. Changed my mind now. I tried to get the camera going and I missed it. She was giving him some banana and she didn't put a move around away quick enough and he speared her. <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah, Sorry. it was for you. Anyway, um, this is the last of it, so we're heading home now. Um, we've had grimpy, grimpy, grumpy gramps out for four days. Have you liked it, Ken? Five days. Yeah, we're all right. Yeah. You enjoyed your little trip? It was a bit fatiguing, but it was not going too bad. Well, considering he's 94 next month, yeah. Um, he's getting on well and he's getting on in age so uh, he did really well he did really well so we're just gonna have day trips with him from now so yeah. it's a little bit much for him at his age now so he's happy with day trips aren't you yes it should be, should be better than the holiday trips holiday trips so he's done really well getting on off the boats and all I enjoyed stuff. spending the time with you darling it's, it's nice it's, you ain't got the energy like you used to that's a busy problem, you get fed up with it yourself, not alone anybody else. <coughs> so, all in all, what would we rate being on a houseboat? You get busy limits for um, what you can do. It was a bit challenging for Dad because obviously to step in over the, you know. Yeah, but it was the flat level, so but, once he's in. Um, it? Yeah, this has been an experience. Been an experience. We've never been on a houseboat before. This was the first time, and there's a lot of movement when it, the, the wind blows. The first night was yeah. horrendous because um, I just not got used to it. But, first uh, night for a couple of things. It was, yeah. <laughs> first time for a couple of things. Um, but yeah, it was, in general, it was good once you got used to it. So anyway, guys, uh, look out for the next video. It's coming up very soon in the next three or four weeks. Hopefully, we're going to get off to Paul Dorset, across to Bournemouth, and we're going to go across to Padstow, and then come up um, the west coast. So that'll be a 10, 10 day holiday and that's going to be completely off grid on the van, campsites, no, back to normal cooking, uh, just Kim and me. Um, so we'll be out and about, uh, we'll be in touch with Ken because we phone him every night so he knows that he's, uh, he's, he's contactable, right. um, but he's okay. So uh, just look out for that and uh, I won't film going back because it's a two or three hour journey of just roads and normal stuff. So mm. thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. So if you really like what you've seen, please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe it will really help the channel and please please make a comment give us a comment see you on the next one bye 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 dad Ta -da. <laughs> see ya